begin that verse number 10 and read on this wise. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord yes. and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we rise not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against power, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. Amen. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil days, and have it done all to stand. And everybody say amen. amen. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'm going to stop right there. You can read the rest of it uh, in your spare time. But I need you to go with me on this morning with this word the Lord has given me. I want to use for a text fight for the victory. Fight. Somebody say fight. Fight. Somebody say fight. Fight. Fight for the victory. Fight for the victory. How many know that the victory is already ours? Amen. 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 How many know that the victory belongs to us already? It's, Amen. it's a guaranteed victory. So, yeah. But there is a place that we all come to that the enemy tried to hinder us of receiving what God has already done in our life. And we have to get to the place and push through it. Fight through it. Fight for it. Yeah. Believe a lot of times, brothers and sisters, we lose what God has for us in our life because we give the enemy play. We give the enemy a foothold where we become like sedated and feel as if we have already lost this test or this trial or this battle that we may be in. But we got to have a made up man that if we down don't mean that we out. We have to get back up and say I'm going to fight for the victory because there is a guaranteed victory. Somebody say guaranteed. Yeah. I don't care what my Some 2,000 years ago. Right. We as the people of God cannot lay down anymore. Yes, we must as children of God get up and begin to fight for the victory. For the victory belongs to us. That's yeah. why Paul said that we can uh -huh. do all things oh, through Christ Jesus Amen. that strength us. Say, not by might, not by uh, power, but by my spirit. Amen. Thus said the Lord. We, 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 we can't give up now. We come too far to throw in the towel. We, we got to get up from the state that we in and begin to move forward. The enemy has walked over us long enough and, and we have taken anything that he has brought our way and, and, and we went somewhere to hide in the corner and sing in the blue but we need to get up from the state that we're in and begin to fight for what belongs to us we are the children of God we are the people of God we are the chosen of God we are the select of God and we cannot let the enemy the devil do it what do you want to say? Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. How, how, how many witnesses I got in here this morning knowing that we are the children of God? Let the church shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And so we, if there ever was a time that we need to fight for victory, now is the time. Hello, somebody. The, the, the devil, he's he been barking up the wrong tree long enough. Amen. It's time for the true believers, time for the people of God begin to operate. 
children of God Amen. begin to take back Amen. what belongs to the people of God. And as, as I look at this thing, as I begin to see that the devil is too he, 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 he's causing too many problems in too many of our homes. Like y'all hear what I'm saying? It, it, they don't make a sense. Amen. Husband going one way, wife going another way, and children going all kind of way because the enemy is in our home, busting up our home. He's busting up marriage. And you, you're getting bad news after bad news. Amen. Because the enemy, the devil, have got a foothold. That's why it is it's not so much amazing when you hear young people doing this and doing that and the other. It's because we have stepped back and let the enemy come in and take a foothold in our life. Y'all ain't going to help me again. But when I came up, we learned how to back. The enemy. We learn how to stood up and say, the blood of Jesus. Don't nobody use the blood no more. Don't nobody operate in the name of Jesus. How many they know that the blood still work? They got a song that's not there. The blood still work. How many know that the blood still work? How many really know that the blood, that's power in the blood. We was taught to anoint our house, the front of the door, the back of the door, anoint the water, anoint children. We were raised up to use the name of Jesus, to use the blood that was shed some 2,000 years ago. We was taught that when the enemy come in like a flood, we said the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Uh, amen. And the devil got to get back. Uh, let the church shout hallelujah. Uh, oh yeah, I got some fight in me. Hello somebody. And I refuse to lay down uh, and let the It said, and the adversary, our adversary, the devil, 